Hey YouTubers, so I just wanted to basically throw this out there. So with episode 104 of Dragon Ball Super having played out, we got to see Hit basically stomp Dispo, but after getting kind of beaten up for the most part, obviously getting really wailed on, uh, it, I'm wondering, just plain old wondering whether or not we've actually seen just the, the end of Hit. Uh, the end of him actually having any real relevance in this tournament. Uh, we already saw Goku having to go save him. And remember, this is the guy that before the tournament actually started, we thought, oh man, this guy, you know, no one's going to be able to stand up to him besides Jiren. Because Jiren was the one who they, they played up and he was the new hit fanboy type of person. Um, but now we see that Dispo was able to basically take him on. And if not for Hit's improvement ability, which is OP, and I've already done a whole video about how OP that is, and uh, obviously just how much stronger Hit could potentially become is crazy considering the logic that we've seen throughout Dragon Ball Super, not just with Hit, but with other people like Tagoma. I'm wondering whether or not Hit is actually going to be able going to be able to even fight Jiren at this point. One of the things I've been worried about with this whole tournament of power is that most every character gets one, if not one and a half, or basically just one good fight where they get to show off their abilities, and then they're going to get taken out at some point. Now, that could be potentially wrong. I mean, if that were the case, you would imagine that Kale would definitely be out of the ring by now, considering the fact that she not only destroyed the entire ring and had a really awesome fight with Goku in episode 100, but she also took out a majority of the Pride Troopers basically by herself or with the help of Khalifa. And I don't necessarily know how they're going to use those characters considering the fact that they're just resting and we got to see them in the last episode D wondering whether or not they should go help hit and but they decided not to because they were way too weak at the point that point so i'm wondering whether or not hit is even going to have a chance against jiren or even topo for that matter if he can't necessarily beat dispo who was never given the same kind of recognition as those other two characters now obviously he was given that recognition. We did see him. He's even in the intro. Uh, and obviously, we had a lot of expectations. This guy looks like Beerus. They even pointed that out in the episode. But it's just kind of interesting to me. So, like I said in the last video I did about Hit and his power improvements, I'm starting to think that maybe Jiren is going to come in and basically just one-shot Hit. Maybe he's got an idea that you can't play around with Hit. You have to take him out. You can't necessarily... Uh, allow him to quote unquote improve and get to a point where he can actually take you out and uh, maybe that's what Jiren maybe has realized or Topo has realized and they're going to come at him with fist swinging take him out as quickly as possible and thus potentially saving any kind of well maybe Hit was going to beat him maybe Hit could have be beat him if they just drag out the fight a little bit longer one of the things that we've seen from Jiren this whole time is at least he doesn't necessarily like to keep fights going for as long as possible. He finds the quickest possible solution. Whether that leads to a ring out or not, he, he definitely goes after them in, in, a, in, a, in a very interesting and a very forceful way. So I'm just determining that at this point, after that last episode, what we saw is essentially Hit's highlight episode and Jiren potentially not going to have a major fight with Hit. And... I want everyone's opinions about that, guys. Do you think that that's disappointing, or do you think that that is to be expected? Is this what you were expecting, where uh, you, they would just kind of job here uh, hit uh, hit at the very beginning of the tournament, or as soon as he fights Jiren, just to put Jiren over the top? Or did you want to see a more drag-out brawl between the two fighters, just to kind of get an idea that, yeah, they're a little bit equal, but Jiren is just that much more powerful than Hit, uh, much more powerful than Hit. So... Guys, with that being said, I'm going to leave it at that. I hope everyone enjoyed the video and hope everyone has a good day. I hope everyone is staying safe right now and I hope everyone is just <laughs> as excited about Dragon Ball Super as I am. So, guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell over by the subscriber button to notify you every single time I upload. But with that being said, guys, I hope everyone has a good day. It's been real.